Hey everybody, today I'm going to be trying out a new camp recipe. We're going to be testing this one at home. Today we're making corned beef hash. Stick around for this week's cooking adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get cooking. All right, everybody. Well, one of my favorite hunting meals for hunting camp has to be corned beef hash. We've been buying it in the prepared cans that already include the corned beef and the potatoes. Uh, but I've been seeing a lot of videos here around YouTube about making it ourselves. So today I'm going to be trying out a recipe uh, using some canned corned beef, uh, using some dehydrated potatoes, uh, an onion, and a few other simple ingredients. Uh, we're going to be testing out here in the house and uh, hopefully then replicating it out at hunting camp out in the field. Uh, anyways, let's get into the kitchen and get started. Here are the five simple ingredients you need to make camp corned beef hash. You'll need one can of corned beef, one box of golden grill hash brown potatoes, one medium onion, some butter, some salt and pepper, and some dehydrated or freeze-dried parsley. Start by rehydrating your potatoes by filling the carton to the fill line with hot water, closing and letting it stand for 12 minutes. While the potatoes are rehydrating, peel your onion and dice. Next, you'll open up your tin of corned beef. Remove the corned beef from the tin and chop into small chunks. Next, Melt a few tablespoons of butter in your cast iron skillet. When that butter starts to sizzle, add those diced onions. Cook the onions until translucent. Ooh, that looks perfect. It's time to add our corned beef and our potatoes. Stir the corned beef, the potatoes, and the fried onions around until evenly distributed. Pat it down and cook over medium-high heat. You'll want to flip over your corned beef hash a few times to get some crispiness mixed into the mixture. Ooh, that's coming along nicely.
Next, add salt and pepper to taste. Take it easy on the salt. There's a lot of it already in your corned beef. Well, you're pretty much ready to feast. Dish it up and serve alongside a fried egg and some toast, garnishing with parsley. Mmm, now that tastes good. Oh yeah. All right, everybody. Well, hey, you know what? That was a really, really good meal. Super easy to make, probably took under 20 minutes uh, and couldn't have costed more than about four or five bucks for everything that we used to make it. So overall, we really liked it. Uh, we served that up there with some fried eggs and some toasted sourdough bread and everybody really, really, really loved it. Um, I think that this is no doubt something else that we'll be making up in hunting camp and it worked really, really well um, with the shredded dried potatoes. So um, definitely would do this one again. I think in future, you know, you could easily chop up some green peppers or red peppers in there if you want just to add a little bit of veggie uh, kind of content for hunting camp. But otherwise though, like I said, I think this one was pretty perfect as is and uh, 10 out of 10 would make again. Uh, if you made it this far on this uh, DC Outdoors episode, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, once again, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff well hit that like subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything until next time we'll see you outdoors